Uh, okay, welcome back to the attic. Um, we had a quote back for um, sanding the beams, um, and it was just silly money. I think mm. they wanted uh, it was a nice guy, but he wanted like four and a half grand just for this section up here. And of course, there's the um, developed part of the attic as well that would need doing, and ultimately probably quite a lot of the other bits and bobs. Uh, so that's a no go. Um, so it's back to the original plan B, which is to drill and high pressure inject uh, mm. these beams, yep. um, which we were advised by um, a professional is the only way to kill the infestation. Um, even if you were to just sand them back and then treat them, that would only prevent reinfestation and not kill the infestation. So that is what we're going to do. We've got the right tools this time, the right drill yeah. bits. Good news. <laughs> yes, good news. The right drill bits. We've got extra drills with slow motion technology. <laughs> slow drilling. Slow. Like different speeds. <laughs> yeah, so um, low geared drills so that um, you don't burn out the drill bits. Mm -hmm. And we're making good progress now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just got a whole sort of lower section of a beam done in about 10 minutes or something when if you've seen our other videos we can put links in we spent about a day just trying to sand a meter of one side of a beam because we were getting kicked back we didn't have the right tools when we started drilling we were just making a mess of the drill holes and a mess of the plugs that the injection fluid goes into to treat the woodworm but now all seems good now that you guys are here something will go horribly wrong but <laughs> we're going to show you what we've been up to and uh, show you our success. Do you want to explain what you've got there? Yep, so I've got a cordless drill that we got. We bought a second cordless drill. That doesn't need any explanation. Um, we realised we needed nine mil. Nine mil, is that right? Yeah. Nine mil drill bits. And I've got, is this from a socket set? Yeah, it's just an improvised spacer. We're ac using this as a spacer because this didn't come with its own spacer. But that's fine because this works perfectly well. Because this, I've got one here. Let me not knock the hammer onto the floor. Uh, the, the reason is you don't want to drill all the way through the beam. You only want to drill halfway. So you can see, just from holding this up against the beam with the spacer here, it takes us to pretty much the halfway in point, which, whoopsie, which is where we want it to be. There we go. If I now grab one of these plugs, you can see how easily they go in now. They're almost, you can almost push them in halfway now, which is great. And just so that I don't mash this plug, I've got a wooden, um, what's this it's called? A piece of wood. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I've got a wooden piece of wood <laughs> so that I don't break my little um, plug with this hammer. And there we go, we're pretty much in. There we are. And there we have it. Only the entire roof to go, of course. What's, uh, what's the problem? My drill bit is... <laughs> <laughs> My drill bit's on holiday. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not getting that out with my hand. Help! <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's a bit tricky. <clears throat> sort of gently ease it out. Now, which direction? Reverse. There. Ta da! <laughs> Well done! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've forgotten what to say. What are we making today? 
hot cross buns. I know it's not Easter, <laughs> I know that, but they are ever popular in our house, especially with the kids. They absolutely love them and wolf them down. Um, come and have a look at what goes in. So in here, I've got about 500 grams of strong white flour, bread flour. And into that, I will be adding yeast, about nine grams of yeast. I've got about 75 grams of sugar here. I've got some salt, I've got some cinnamon and some allspice. I've got some butter because this is an enriched dough, so it has butter and milk added. My milk over here, which I've just gently warmed up a little bit in the microwave. With your hand. With my hand. I've just, I've rubbed it softly just to help it warm up, just like this. First things first, a bit of yeast, 10 grams of yeast. Into that, but on the other side of the bowl, I'm going to pop my sugar, about a teaspoon of salt, and I'm keeping that away from the yeast, both of those, because the yeast can be activated by them straight away, and I want to activate my yeast when I put my warm milk in, when we go to the stand mixer. So before we do, into that, I'm going to pop a teaspoon and a half each of cinnamon and four spice this is mixed spice there we go and now over we go to the stand mixer so stand mixer with a dough hook attachment um, i've got my dry ingredients sitting in my bowl i'm just going to let that run slowly to mix all the dry ingredients then add in my butter which is just softened it's not melted there's about 40 grams here and my milk which as I say was warmed and there's about 260 ml or so into there I've just also popped my egg so I'm going to turn my speed up on my stand mixer to about two. This will be a bit noisy, um, so we'll leave it to mix by itself. And I'm gonna let that mix for about five minutes. So the dough went for about five minutes in the stand mixer. So I'm just gonna finish off. You can see how nice and stretchy this is, but it's still got a bit of dampness to it. So I'm just going to finish this off by hand for a couple of minutes. So I've given that a little knead. I'm going to leave it for initially an hour and come back and check. I will cover it with cling film. So I'm going to get on with some other stuff in the meantime. Look at my dough. <laughs> so we have risen by at least double, um, which is good stuff. So I'm going to flour my tray again gonna give this a nice stretch out it's warm <laughs> I'm warm as well because I've been gardening sprinkle the raisins over and then it's a case of re-kneading knocking all the air out of the dough mixing the raisins in which are currently nesting in the middle <sighs> So raisins are nicely combined um, and I am making these little guys, first this one, into little sort of sausages as equal as I can get it all the way along and I think I'm going to go for maybe a batch of 16 and I'm just going to kind of pinch the bottom of it and sort of fold it in on itself, not lose any raisins on the way. And I am just going to do that with the rest of this dough and get them all lined up ready for a second proof. So last couple going in. I'm going to cover both of these with cling film, put them out in the warm again and let them double up in size again. So that should be maybe 35, 40 minutes, um, anything up to about an hour. So let's come back again in a minute. So we have had a second proof. You can see they've all puffed up again. 
Oh, right, I've just snipped the end off that bag and I'm very quickly and gently just going to try and get all my little crosses. Whoopsie. There we go. So, off to the oven we are going. The oven's on about 180. This runs pretty hot, so we will check back in about 15 minutes or so. So here we go. Here are my hot cross buns. Because they look a bit sad when they come out. A bit dull, but when you put their makeup on, they look lovely. I did that one already. I got overexcited and started. Maybe not quite so simple as our um, other recipes that we do, but well, well worth the effort. And there is loads of proving time um, throughout the recipe so you can get on with other bits and pieces. This is all mine. None of this is for Paul. <laughs> That's oh! my conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. I'm going to nom it up. It's yum bon appetit. Hello. <laughs> what you got there so i've got three little plant pots painted by the kids show me and the reason that i have them here we go this one is for maitress that's our little boy's teacher he's done a lovely job he's put little flowers on it and ladybirds it's the end of term tomorrow um for him and it's also the last day that our little girl is in her creche room before she moves up to a preschool room in preparation for starting school next september no not next september yes, this yeah. september um in a so month. both of them are either leaving their school year or beginning school as of august so we're doing little flower um flower pot homemade flower pot presents for the teachers and the teaching assistants and the creche um, workers with little plants in to say thank you. So the kids have painted up the plant pots. I have to drill a hole in them <laughs> because the flowers that we've got or the plants that we've got are outdoor plants. So they're going to need watering and the water's going to need to drain away. Here they are. Apparently these are called coxcomb. So there you go. But they're quite pretty, they're very fuzzy. That one looks like a brain. <laughs> Perfect plan for all your zombie friends. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. Oh Lord, how do I, right, okay. I would, I would drill like a couple of holes in it. But it's Is not it gonna crack. No. Is it going, if it's the, the real drill set to the right direction? I don't know. Is it? Oh, direction, yeah, direction's no, fine. No, that's backwards, isn't it? No, it's not. It's pushed through to the left, that's forwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I'm scared. Just go slow. Maybe less slowly than that. <laughs> Nothing happened at all. Mm-hmm. Maybe we need to start with a smaller drill bit. Yeah. Yeah, this large drill bit seems a bah! <laughs> Camera's right in my face. This large drill bit seems a bit excessive. I am pushing, but I think we need something smaller. Fetch me a small drill bit, please. Okay. Off you go. Right, right, let's try again, shall okay. we? Okay, take two. Three. Good. Okay. You can just do a few of those if you like. Yeah. Call it done. Whoa, oh. gently, darling. I'm being gentle. Well, how come there's a massive hole in it? Well, oops. <laughs> do you want me Who's to, this, this for? Do you want uh, me to do it? No. <laughs> professional job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's call that one done before yes. I completely wreck it. Right. Welcome back to Blue Peter. <laughs> 
Um, I've got my little holes drilled in all of my pots. So there we go. So let's pop in our little plants. Pop it in there. Got some scrappy looking bits. Here's the cat. Do you think this looks good? Yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. So I'm going to give them a little water so that they don't get too sad now that they've been transferred from their old home into their new one. And then I'll take them inside, I think. Ugh. This watering can head works well. Let's do it from a distance. <laughs> That's quite the distance. There we go. That'll do. Hopefully it hasn't washed all the paint off. <laughs> oh, don't say that. We did varnish these pots. <laughs> we did varnish them after the kids had painted them to protect them from exactly that. But yeah, let's just leave them alone for a minute to dry off. And, uh, and there we go. And there we go. Yeah, we've got some chocolates for all of the teachers as well. And a little key ring for um, our little boy's teacher. Just because he's moving away from her class completely. Oh, and we've just caught a mouse. Oh. Where are you Oi! 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 Leave it! Get out of the way, you stupid mouse. Go <laughs> away from her. <laughs> right, rescue Wipo. <Wipu. laughs> yeah, it got away. Oh, there it goes. Yep, there it goes. Good. It's safe. Right. You, very clever, very but also clever a cat. murderer. Murderer. Don't put it back down near it. She'll go and get it again. <laughs> go and get it quick. You've got a scooper and put her in the house. Oh, quick. Come here. Otherwise, she's going to have it. Shut up. <laughs> she says. I'm going to have to go round and get <laughs> Now it's going to be hunt the woo-boo. Don't lick your paws and pretend that you weren't doing anything. Catch the woo-boo, catch the woo-boo. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> right, into the house for a quiet sit down for you. <laughs> there we are. Hop. Very pretty with the drill in the background. Yes, yes. Yes, exactly what you expect to see on Gardener's World. <laughs>